Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday's version of Take 5, Five Minutes of Jesus' Words and Sermon on the Mount. Glad you could join us. Boy, yesterday was a hard one. I don't even want to go back and look at it. It was a tough passage. Today is an easier one. Today is one that has to do with the fatherhood of God. How do we view God in light of the needs that we have? We're heading toward Christmas time. We're heading toward um, a time where we know of many people that have needs and how can we meet those needs. Um, as a staff, I just had a meeting where we talked about um, how can we bless the people in our church community, especially um, who have needs right now. Let's, let's act almost as elves and see how we can bless people. It's a wonderful place to be in. Well, in some ways, the entire Sermon on the Mount is meant to help, help us see that we are needy people. And in our needs, we have someone, we have God himself as our Father, who wants to meet those needs. Uh, one of the books on my shelf that is a commentary on the Sermon on the Mount, I'm looking at it right now. I love the title. The title is, Ain't Too Proud to Beg. And in many ways, that's a lot of what the Sermon on the Mount has to say, is it reminds us of our need, spiritually and otherwise. And that's what this passage is going to describe as well. And yet, we come to the place where, although we are very needy, we ain't too proud to beg. The one to whom we are begging is our Father. Is our Father. Not some big government agency or something. It's our Father. And it's a beautiful way to remember. Now, whatever your needs are, even right now, you take them to your Heavenly Father, who loves to meet your needs. Well, let, let's just read it. Let me just walk through it. It's a great passage. And let them wash over your own heart and mind and remind you of not only of the needs that you have, but the one who is able and lovingly willing to meet those needs. Here it is. Matthew chapter 7, starting in verse 7. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. I love that. What are your needs? Are you asking God? Are you seeking his will and his, his help? Are you knocking at the door that seems so closed? Are you knocking? Ask, seek, knock. For everyone who asks receives. And the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, it will be opened. Don't let your your need. Don't let your discouragement of your need so paralyze you from getting to the point where you stop asking and seeking and knocking. Don't let your discouragement get to the place where you just quit praying. But the Apostle Paul would write in the King James, it says, pray without ceasing. Don't quit praying. Keep on praying. Don't let yourself get to that place. Everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. The one who knocks, it will be open to him. And then now here's where he gets to the character of God and his loving fatherhood. Which of you, if his son asks him for bread, will give him a stone? You're going to give your son what he needs. Or if he asks his son, if he, if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent. The father gives the son the things that he actually needs. If you then, who are evil, he's getting back to our very nature, if you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, and you do, Christmas time, you're going to give good gifts to those that you love. If you, and you know your motives are mixed and you're not the greatest person all the time, but you, in your human depravity, know how to give good gifts to your children and to others, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? It's simply a, a reminder. You have a good Father who loves to meet your needs. Don't ever get to the place where you stop asking him. Today, why don't you end your day by asking your Heavenly Father for what you need? I'll see you on Wednesday.